Please welcome. For months, the campaign of former President Donald Trump has prepared for a 2020 rematch with Joe Biden. But now its focus point will shift. In a social media post today, Trump writing, we are forced to spend time and money on fighting crooked Joe Biden. He pulls badly after having a terrible debate and quits the race. Now we have to start all over again. A move he was already preparing for at his campaign rally last night in Michigan. So who would you like to most run against if you're us, if we want to win? Ready? Kamala Harris. The now official Republican nominee has maintained steady polling leads nationally and in each of the battleground states. Taken before Biden left the race, recent national polling has showed Harris current positioning not that different from Biden in a hypothetical head-to-head matchup against Trump. But the Republican nominee already taking shots this weekend at the current vice president, who could become his direct opponent. I call her laughing Kamala. You ever watch her laugh? She's crazy. You know, you can tell a lot by a laugh. No, she's crazy. She's nuts. Trump, meanwhile, will hold a campaign rally on Wednesday in Battleground, North Carolina, where a possible Democratic running mate hails from, current Democratic Governor Roy Cooper. RNC Chairman Michael Watley said on Saturday, quote, they have more than a messenger problem. They have a message problem because Kamala Harris, Gavin Newsom, Gretchen Whitmer, no matter who else is on this ticket, is going to adopt those same platforms and those same policies and they're out of step with the American people. The Trump campaign currently has its eyes on seven key states, though the dynamics could change with the new Democratic nominee. And the former president could still face a sentencing in mid-September after being found guilty by a jury in lower Manhattan. His legal team is preparing briefings for a judge challenging the verdict. And Von Hilliard has been covering the Trump campaign. He joins me now. Von, what do we know about, I know it's really early, but what do we know about the potential for a debate between Mr. Trump and the vice president? Right, Lester. Well, the reality was that there were two already scheduled presidential debates on the books between Donald Trump and the Biden campaign. And the second debate, of course, was going to be taking place this September on ABC. But Donald Trump in, on a social media post just a few minutes ago, suddenly opening up the door and questioning whether he wants to stick to that game plan. Of course, with Joe Biden no longer on the ticket and the question mark being whose presidential campaign is it actually going to be? There are some open question marks. He, though, in that social media post indicated that he would like Fox News to be the one that hosts the debate. We have reached out to multiple senior campaign advisors for clarification on the way that he is exactly viewing this politically and whether it'd be advantageous to go on the debate stage or not. It's not clear at this time. I was with the former president and 2024 Republican nominee's campaign yesterday in Grand Rapids, Michigan for that rally. And I was talking to a senior campaign official who told me that they were preparing for all potential circumstances. Well, for 20 months now, ever since Donald Trump first announced this third presidential bid, they have had their eyes on a Joe Biden rematch. And with just three months left, they knew that there could potentially be a jolt in this race on the Democratic side and a change. They, they had been looking at internal polling and, of course, had been studying not only Kamala Harris, but also other candidates who could potentially lead the top of the ticket. And, of course, it's an open question mark then. Who would be that vice presidential running mate to that Democratic nominee who would be taking on J.D. Vance? Because he already has campaign events planned this week in Ohio and Virginia, Lester. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.